Hello and welcome to Select 10. Today, we'll look at some of the top action, thriller, and adventure shows of 2023. To keep the list strictly limited to action-driven series, we have not included some of the popular series such as The Last of Us, Silo, that have action, but not enough to be considered full-on action series because their core themes are completely different and action is secondary in their story. I hope you understand my point. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Deserter Pursuit. It is a military action drama series directed by Han Jun hee the series portrays the tale of a group of military agents who are on a hunt for fugitives. Throughout the course of its narrative, the series highlights the hardships of being a soldier and the mentality of survival of the strongest, where individuals considered to be the weakest are pushed to the bottom of the hierarchy and subjected to cruel treatment at the expense of their upper management and fellow citizens. The primary focus of the narrative is on Private An Jun Ho and Commander Han Ho Yil, who work together to track down rebels. During their missions, they deal with the more troublesome situations and embark on an extraordinary adventure that makes them doubt all they have learned. The series makes an effort to depict the depressing realities of the flawed armed forces system with a mix of humor, brutality, and dark emotional situations. And this is not the typical lighthearted drama, instead, action and emotion are the main driving factors here. Number 9. Foo Bar. It is an action comedy series created by Nick Santora. If you're looking for an action series and you notice that it includes Arnold, don't second-guess it, at least as far as action is concerned. Although we have seen other brutal action movies like The Expendables and Terminator, this is not Arnold's best work. Nevertheless, action lovers will find enough enjoyment in this series. The narrative revolves around father and daughter, Luke and Emma Brunner, who have been consistently deceiving each other for many years while remaining completely unprepared for the fact that they both work for the same organization. However, their already strained relationship gets even worse as they both learn facts about one another and have trouble comprehending that they really don't know each other anymore. In the aftermath, Luke is dragged again into the action and he and his daughter must learn to work together as colleagues to deal with and manage a perilous mission that puts them both in danger. The presence of Arnold and some fantastic action sequences are the show's greatest strengths, so don't have high expectations for the narrative. And don't worry either, even with a decent plot, the show still manages to give a satisfying mix of action, comedy, and drama. Number 8. Bloodhounds. It is an action thriller drama, directed by Kim Ju Hwan. The series centers on Gun Wu and Wu Jin, two rival boxers who became friends and got embroiled in the money-lending gangster industry after Gun Wu's mother obtained the money from the problematic loan sharks who run a money-lending organization called Smile Capitals. Meanwhile, the wealthy owner of Smile Capitals, Kim Myong Gil, is a nasty guy who will do whatever it takes to maintain his position of dominance. However, when Gun Wu's mother becomes the newest target in a devious loan scheme, Jian Wu and Wu Jin have no choice but to fight while trying to shut down his money business. Bloodhounds is worth investing your time in because it is a focused, direct, and fast-paced thriller, and all things considered, it is one of the best action shows of 2023 so far and it would be accurate to state that it provides a little something from every genre by keeping action at the center. Number 7, SWAT. It is a crime action series created by Aaron Rossen Thomas and Sean Ryan. The show has had six seasons so far, and the sixth season premiered in 2023. I've watched the first two seasons so far, and based on what I observed in the first two, the series is excellent for anyone who likes thrillers involving police action and crime narratives. And this one has a lot of content on it that deals with these subjects and delivers plenty of action-filled episodes, making it a great choice for binge-watching. The story follows Daniel Harrelson, an officer with the Los Angeles Police Department, who has been chosen to oversee a highly trained strategic operations squad to fight violence in Los Angeles. But, when he struggles with his personal life, he finds himself divided between allegiance to the community where he grew up and commitment to his department. The stories are quite interesting to watch and successfully provides a new adventure every season. The series's strongest asset is its evolving, very entertaining team, so anyone searching for a fun show with solid thrills and brilliantly organized combat scenes should add this one to their watch list. Number 6. Warrior. It is a martial arts action drama based on a concept by Bruce Lee. Even the action has broad elements, for instance, a classy one, as seen in shows like Jack Ryan, but if you want to see more brutal and hard-hitting action, look to Warrior. 
The drama centers on Assam, an aggressive fighter who relocates from China in search of his sister, who has been sold to one of the most influential gangs in Chinatown. The action takes place in the late 1870s, during the era remembered as the Tong Wars. Tongs here is a kind of deadly organizations that seeks to dominate another. On the other hand, Ah Sam, who is driven by his own personal objectives, is compelled to prove his skills as a fighter in order to be employed as an assassin by one of Chinatown's strongest crime syndicates. But little did he know that this would plunge him into the world of crime and violent gang rivalry, which puts him and his sister on opposing sides. While the raw, vicious action sequences keep you on the edge, the show's main plot is perfectly enhanced by a stunning backdrop that adds to its visual appeal. The show differs from the others on this list because there is more hand-to-hand -hand fighting action than chases or gunfights. Number 5. Black Knight, it is a sci-fi action series based on the webtoon of the same title by Lee Yun Kyan. The story takes place in a dystopian future where severe pollution in the atmosphere has grown into a significant issue following an impact from a comet that devastated the majority of mankind and left people dependent on oxygen supplies and face masks delivered by a squad of skilled delivery men known as the Black Knights. While the majority of the population is compelled to stay outside of the cities and must make do with little resources, the ruling class lives in covered cities with an uninterrupted supply of oxygen. So this is where the Black Knights come in to bring items to the needy, while protecting the supplies from the bands of raiders who create obstacles in their path in an effort to compromise humanity's survival. The show delivers terrific, heart-pounding action sequences despite its flawed plot. The battles between the Black Knights and the invading forces are masterfully laid out and precisely captured, making them a pleasure to watch. Its astounding desert setting is incredibly gorgeous and brilliantly conveys a distinctive six-episode narrative of a bleak future. Number 4. Jujutsu Kaisen. It is an action-adventure based on a Japanese manga series written by G. Jack Yatami. The story takes place in a universe where every living organism emits power, known as cursed energy, which develops from destructive feelings and gives rise to curses, a species of supernatural beings whose key objective is to hurt humans. Jujutsu sorcerers are able to regulate the surge of cursed energy and can then use it to carry out cursed tactics to defend people from harmful curses. The core story revolves around a teenager, Yuji Itadori, who becomes possessed and a host for the ancient demon Sakuna after consuming his finger. However, the sorcerers decided against killing him just yet so he is sent to a Jujutsu school so he can find the demon's remaining body parts and banish himself. Yuji, on the other hand, starts assisting sorcerers in protecting cities from curses and battling those who are after Sakuna's leftover body parts. The show provides an absurd plot, superb world building that draws you into the narrative and brilliantly blended violent action between monsters and sorcerers using their curses. The second season has started and has four episodes so far. Number 3. Citadel. This show was highly anticipated by many because it is one of the most expensive Amazon Prime originals ever. However, the show falls short of everyone's expectations and fails to capture the interest of the majority of viewers. However, it's not all that bad either, action movie fans might like Citadel. The show revolves around the global secret service, Citadel, which was taken down by individuals from Manticore, an enormous entity that covertly rules every corner of the planet. On the other hand, all of Citadel's employees' memories were wiped following its collapse. But years later, one of the oldest surviving members of Citadel asks the two former agents, Mason and Nadia, for help, as an emerging plan by Manticore threatens to topple the global order. While struggling to remember their old identities, they set out on a global quest to overthrow Manticore, unaware of the connections that were built on deceit and secrecy. Citadel has a lot of issues, but it also has some positive aspects. The main character's chemistry and the show's few surprises make it a fairly enjoyable spy action series. Number 2. The Night Agent. Amazon has Jack Ryan and The Terminal List, while Netflix was lacking in this genre, but now they have two hugely popular action series, The Night Agent and The Recruit. The Night Agent entered the top Netflix shows and is currently the sixth most watched Netflix series ever. The main focus of the narrative is Peter Sutherland, a federal agent who works as a rescue line controller in the basement of the White House. His only responsibility was to sit in front of a barely ringing phone. But Peter's luck runs out and his everyday job is significantly interrupted when he gets a call from an unknown woman that draws him into a treacherous conspiracy related to politics and top government figures where he learns of a vast plot concerning a corrupt official in the White House. 
Then, in addition to tracking down the traitor who intends to disturb the country's peace, he must also protect the person who called him. You will be drawn into the plot of the show's classy world of lies, treachery, and action from the very first episode itself. And I also recommend you watch The Recruit because it is impressive, bingeable, and has some of the best background music ever. Number 1. Twisted Metal. It is a post-apocalyptic action series based on the video game franchise of the same name. I haven't played the game, but I thoroughly enjoyed every scene in this series. The best part is that each episode lasts about 30 minutes, which keeps the action moving along and makes this show very easy to watch. The plot starts in a post-apocalyptic wasteland and centers on a milkman, John Doe, and just to be clear, a milkman in this context is a delivery person who, in exchange for payment, ships any specified cargo over the country. And soon John's routine job becomes a lot better when a rich woman in luxury city offers him an opportunity at a higher standard of living, but only if he succeeds in collecting an enigmatic package from a distant post-apocalyptic wilderness and getting it back to them. As he begins his journey, he encounters merciless invaders in lethal and destructive motorized cars and a woman who is being pursued by a group of policemen who are trying to restore the rule of law by all means. And after you've seen it, please let me know in the comments how you are feeling about it after seeing what was inside the package and how funny it was. Let's face it, this wasn't the last of us and it has its shortcomings, but the show nevertheless remains a lot of fun, full of outrageous humor, brutally violent action, and an unexpected amount of emotion. The intensity of the show and its dedication to its subject make it interesting to watch. Moreover, it has a sweet tooth, but not the one you are thinking of. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.